It's like classic, like people just going past us and we're looking at like a random bird feeder someone has out their window. Today, we're at Holy Hill, which is known for its gorgeous basilica and shrine of the Virgin Mary. In addition to people visiting the basilica for daily mass, it is also a popular tourist attraction for those who want to take in the beauty of the architecture and surrounding area, which is full of breathtaking landscapes. One way to take in these great views is by climbing the Scenic Tower. From the base to the top of the spire, the Scenic Tower is 192 feet tall and visitors must climb 178 stairs to reach the top. However, we've heard the view is worth the climb. Our goal today is to reach the top of the tower, admire the fall color, and see what birds we can find in this beautiful area. On the way to the Holy Hill parking lot, we stopped to safely move a few Isabella tiger moth caterpillars off the road and relocate them to some leaf litter. Right here we have two Isabella tiger moth caterpillars which are also very commonly referred to as woolly bears. And we found these crossing the road on this warm fall day when they decide to go up and move. So these will hibernate as caterpillars like this. And then when it's springtime and it warms up enough, they'll come out and actually then make a cocoon and end up as the Isabella tiger moth. And so we have this, uh, I will say normal looking one right here with the two larger black bands and then the reddish orange brown color in the middle and then we also found this really interesting one which I don't see very often where there's really just the one black band on the front and then the rest of them is that orangey color. So a really unique uh, one right here but a very common species that you can find crossing roads so if you're ever on rural areas between fields keep an eye out for these guys and uh, stop and move them if you don't have any traffic or anything because it is tough for them when they try to cross the road. Hopefully they can go find a good place to hang out for the winter and don't they look try like to... they're really friendly with each other. Yeah, they're buds now. <laughs> good. He's going for the jacket sleeve. They really want to go in my jacket. I don't know why. It's warm. Maybe. Okay, so it looks like they're both kind of crawling around <laughs> down there. So hopefully that's a good place for them. And hopefully they'll find a nice spot to hang out for a while. We made our way up some stairs towards the scenic tower noting some nice fall color along the way. So we're gonna make our way up to the scenic tower, lots of stairs, but hopefully it'll be worth it. We entered the tower and started climbing the stairs, which were narrow and open, making this a tough quest for anyone with a fear of heights. Are you afraid of heights? I didn't used to be, but I feel like I'm a little bit today. Yeah, you weren't, weren't afraid I wasn't before this? until now. <laughs> After climbing a ridiculous amount of stairs, including a small spiral staircase, we had finally reached the top. We were immediately struck by the incredible views and tried to find the best spots with the most color. Over there, it was a really nice oh, yes. orange red patch. Yes. It's here, you just gotta get well, a Well, it looks like it. over on that side there's actually, it's a bit more. We're going to have to like work our way over there. While looking at the trees, we were also able to spot a bird from the top of the tower. Yeah. It's over there. It's over there. Yeah, I see it. You did it. Right there. Turkey vulture. Made it to the top. Did have a turkey vulture. Pretty cool to see it from the top down. A little bit scary climbing up the stairs, but really worth it for the view. Right the color. Right here I'm giving it, giving it an 8 out of 10. It looks pretty nice. There's even some purples in there. Some really nice oranges and yellows. I think maybe next week would be better, but then you'll probably have more trees without any leaves. So you gotta pick pick your poison of what you want, but really beautiful, really worth the walk. It's the trade-off. It is the trade-off. You think it was worth it? Oh yeah, that was cool. I've actually never even been here before. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Have you been here before? Yeah, the choir sang. Well, look at you. Pleased with our views and bird sighting, we descended the steps to head to the basilica. 
Um, now we're headed down. We're gonna go check out the Basilica itself, which is gorgeous. And then we're gonna start walking some of the trails. Hopefully we'll see some nice fall color on the trails. Um, you know, maybe some birds, maybe some mammals. We'll see what's out there. After a quick stop in the basilica, we noticed a group of birds nearby that seemed to be attracted by something, and we quickly realized what it was. Somebody has a bird feeder that's right outside their window, so that's attracting a lot of birds to that area and just kind of the area around. Um, must have a crazy view right outside their office or whatever building that is. Yep. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> Tim Mouse giving you troubles? Uh, it's kind of dense in there, so you see stuff pop out for like a moment and then it goes back in. But this is pretty typical. There's like a bunch of people walking by us and we're just like in an area that there's really nothing to see in terms of like landmarks or anything. Don't you disrespect the Tim Mouse <laughs> like that? But it's just like classic, like people just going past us and we're looking at like a random bird feeder someone has out their window. I like how the nut hatches cling to the brick. So they actually just like land straight on the brick and then just kind of like climb their way over using their little feet. So they must have those little claws sharp enough to be able to just click right onto that brick. This has definitely been the most birdy place so far. There's not a lot of fall color here. Everything's pretty green, but that bird feeder is really drawn in a couple different species that are pretty expected backyard birds. I think the best find so far was the tufted titmouse. That's a really exciting one to see. The feeders attracted a variety of birds, and in the leaves below, we even spotted a mammal. We just found a shrew skittering around in the leaf litter. You could just see the leaves moving, and then every once in a while he'd poke out and you could actually see him. So this is a really neat find. It's great to see some mammals out on this warm day. From the feeders, we moved to a paved trail that had some of the stations of the cross. In the forest, there were a lot of yellow trees and leaves on the ground. Looks good. Rating? Um... I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 because we have good coverage. Like it's almost all orange or yellow. So coverage is 9 out of 10. Like the diversity of color, I'd give like a 4 out of 10 though because we're seeing a lot of the same, but I'll take it. Looks I'll like you got it. some leaves on the ground too, kind of get that ground cover. It's a good, good fall vibe. So it looks like most of the yellow color is coming from these maple trees. What's interesting about trees is a lot of times the same tree will produce a similar color. So if you see a forest that's all one color, it's probably because it's all the same trees. And whatever kind of maple these are, are definitely a distinct yellow when they start to get color on them. The pigment of the leaves is actually shown because the chlorophyll, the green pigment, starts to die off in the winter. And you're left with these pigments called carotenoids, which uh, degrade at a slower rate. So that's why you get that color. And carotenoids are the same thing that cause flamingos to be pink, goldfinches to be more yellow. Mm. Look at how many there are. That's a lot of leaf droppage already. Mm. <laughs> I'm LeBron! <laughs> <laughs> We just had a flyover crow calling and then there's a golden crown kinglet calling from the treetops. It's, uh, we can hear it and we see it every once in a while, but it, to get a good view has been very difficult. I keep seeing leaves fall from the trees and then I think that's a bird and then it's just a leaf. We reached the end of the Stations of the Cross Trail and saw some more colorful trees and a few new species by the Ice Age Trail. Oh. What'd you find? A uh, white crown sparrow juvenile. Nice. Gray squirrel? On private property. We can't go any further. Oh, he's working his way up the hill. This is a great time of year for them because there's so many walnuts and things that are uh, down from the trees. This is just like a the time. After finishing our walk on the trails, we decided to head out and call it a day. We had an incredible time visiting Holy Hill, seeing the fall color, 
and also finding some interesting animals. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. There ain't nothing left to say, but oh, jeez, look at that there guy. I wonder. Uh, you could Don't definitely, you could stuck. definitely get your head stuck <laughs> up here.